Under certain circumstances, each of us could find ourselves at a higher or lower risk of cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest is a sudden loss of consciousness with no pulse and a cessation of breathing. We know very precisely now that cardiac arrest is in the majority of cases caused by cardiac arrhythmias. We have uh, really a very reliable scientific data which confirm that patients who have the highest risk of dying suddenly are patients who already survived a cardiac arrest. These patients need a reliable device which is able to recognize the recurrence of the arrhythmia and to stop the arrhythmia because this is the only way how we can prevent sudden cardiac death. Most cardiac arrests are due to ventricular arrhythmias, especially ventricular fibrillation. A chaotic ventricular rhythm leads to a loss of ventricular contraction and results in ineffective pumping of the blood around the body, especially into the brain. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation and early defibrillation from an external defibrillator are the most effective measures to restore normal heart rhythm. Without immediate help, the patient will die. Every minute without cardiopulmonary resuscitation represents a 10% fall in the probability of survival. After 10 minutes, the chances of survival are very low. Cardiac arrest is one of the main causes of sudden cardiac death, with the annual incidence ranging between 50 and 100 cases per 100,000 inhabitants. Prevention of sudden cardiac death consists of many strategies. However, the most important is public awareness of the problem. Prevention of sudden cardiac death consists of many facets. These include primary prevention of coronary disease, such as lifestyle modification or smoking cessation, organization of uh, emergency services, acute medical care. Finally, use of implantable cardioverter defibrillator to save human lives cardiac arrest recurs. In most patients, therapeutic hypothermia will be induced as it is known to decrease the metabolic requirements of the brain and improve survival rates without brain damage. Immediate coronary angiography may be used when myocardial infarction is suspected as the cause of the cardiac arrest. In such cases, ischemia due to a blocked coronary artery is usually the trigger for ventricular fibrillation, so percutaneous coronary intervention is used to restore blood supply to the heart muscle. However, cardiac arrest may be the result of a number of other cardiac diseases, or may even occur in an otherwise healthy individual. A thorough process of diagnosis then follows, consisting of echocardiography, CT angiography, or magnetic resonance imaging. In some cases, an electrophysiological study may be recommended. Scientific evidence supports the prophylactic implantation of implantable cardioverters, defibrillators, in survivors of cardiac arrest. Three major studies, called AVID, CASH and SIDS, have demonstrated that such an approach decreases mortality by 20 to 31 percent, and arrhythmic death by 33 to 58 percent. Implantation of the ICD is performed under local anesthesia. After a skin incision is made under the left collarbone, the pocket for the device is prepared and an electrode or electrodes are introduced inside the heart through the subclavian vein.
Once the electrode is fixed, the system assembly and closure of the wound, as well as testing the defibrillation function, are usually carried out under a short general anesthesia. Patients with an implantable cardioverter defibrillator are observed in specialized outpatient clinics where the device is checked and programming performed. At the same time, the patient is instructed about the system and its function. Data related to implantation of uh, cardiac implantable electronic devices uh, in Europe are uh, showing an heterogeneity. The ERA White Book data shows significant inequalities. In particular, Germany is the leading country in the number of implanted uh, devices with about 320 per million inhabitants. But we also have uh, geographies in which the implantation rates goes as low as probably zero point something. And uh, those are unfortunately in uh, the part of the world that we call as emerging uh, European countries. ICD for Life is uh, an initiative which intends to promote the uh, implantation of ICDs in this part of the world and in particular to make people more aware about the importance of protecting uh, survivors of sudden cardiac death uh, from another event. We believe that there are several ways of uh, increasing the number of implanted ICD and probably first is related to uh, a better knowledge of uh, current uh, guidelines which is really the way in which we should probably practice best medicine.